you gotta always be on top of your game, basically. Like, it's not just like, I just got here from having just natural rapping time, like, and just bust a flow right here, right now. Nah, it's just about my real life and my work ethic, and, you know, knowing when to sit your ass down and knowing when to be the man in the room, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just about seeing yourself down sometimes and getting yourself right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A lot of artists, they have to, um, they have to be surrounded by people or they have to do or make certain moves to be accepted into the culture that they claim to be from versus me. I am the culture that I'm from. So it's like everything about me just read DC, 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 Southeast, where I walk, where I talk, stuff I eat. It's things I introduce people to. And just the way I carry myself is straight raw. If you real, you're going to spot that out from a mile away. But, you know, like, a lot of people in this game, they ain't come from the environment that shaped the game. You know what I'm saying? They just come from, um, like, the surrounding parts or, you know, just they got family or maybe they is born in the hood versus someone who was stuck in the hood and had to do all these things to get to this point and not just, like, talk about it or rap about it and look out the window. Even the people that is from the streets in the game, like, they just trying to be too street to prove, like, I'm street, I'm this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gotta do that. If you're from that, that's where you're from. All you gotta do is just be genuine and, you know, just try to build those good relationships. And um, just don't fake it, because a dude like me, I know when you're faking with me, and I know, like, a lot of artists that I have, mess with formally, I wouldn't mess with again. Just be cut off the simple fact of the actions they showed me and they showed me that they wasn't true. I was listening to Wayne a lot. That's like my favorite rapper of all time. Best rapper alive, no debate. Um, I just feel like everyone was just on his dick. And now it's like, you know, you forgot who this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't mentioning this name when you mentioning these other names. Like, you ain't come up on this too. Like, it was all you heard at one point in time, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and it wasn't like, he was telling just nursery rhymes. He was being creative in his way that people wasn't even on game to. And they thought he was just like saying these metaphors and like, throwing raps around just because he knew how to rap. I mean, that was the case, but it was, it was messages behind things that Wayne was saying, and you know, like, it was influencing the trap, and everybody just wanted to be just on it so heavy, you know, like. So I always salute Wayne. Like, that's definitely a major influence to me, because I come from where the block is hiding, you know, like the hot boys wanted to be like them when I was younger. You know, that's the only probably rappers that I was really looking at like that because they was down in them projects and they were showing you what it was and some stuff, you know, you gotta see it to believe it. It's just about my story though, it's not really about no one else, no one that influence behind it. Just my real life situation. From people thinking I'm being so quiet, but I'm really working in reality. All my music always had a story, always predicted that most things would happen. But it's like, with this one, people was looking at me like I was something, but I was looking at it like, man, we going back to the trap, you know what I'm saying? Like, back to the grind. And I was just caught up in so many things, like, with people thinking I'm on this level, but I'm, in reality, I'm still with my peers, I'm still living in a certain way that people have no clue about being Grammy nominated, but still doing this other thing, you know? So it's like, how do I balance this now? And like, just to get all this off my mind was like a big relief and, you know, just me just fighting different situations every day. 
Trey a legend in my eyes. I'm sure on everybody's eyes, you know? Like, I just wanted people to realize the importance of an artist like that, too. Like, don't forget, this is Trey Songz. You know what I'm saying? He don't just sing about, he sing mainly about women, but he can also tell you life. You know what I'm saying? And like, the hook just meant, he went in there and just done that himself. You know what I'm saying? We did a couple records. And I guess he was just feeling the vibe that I was giving off on the other records. And then he just, he went in there and he just, no pen, no pad, just, you know, made it happen. Versus most singers, they would probably need a writer or this or that. It was just like a late night vibe and it couldn't have came together any more genuine than that. It definitely meant a lot to be working with someone like that. And just being from a couple hours away from me like two hours away or whatever the case may be, not too far, just right in my facility. And to have a big record and to be looking at someone like that when I wasn't doing music, and now I'm gonna be doing music with him, like, damn, you know, like, it's big. We the underdogs in the area, like, we, it's a, it's a different light, like, people love us, but people scared to love us, if it makes sense. Like, this man, it's the man that all the chicks like. I'm the guy that the streets like. So it's like, you know, them the two coolest things that people want to be. Like, you know, too many, too many people don't really want too much more in life than those things. We do, but they don't, if it makes sense. So we got all these things, and we got these pieces, and they don't. It's like, it was a threat. It become a threat then. That shit just pick up itself. It got Grammy nominated without no big artist posting it at all because their girlfriend was too busy posting it or, you know, like, dang, they were just scared to post that, you know, that verse meant so much to the culture this year and they just overlooked it. Instead, they go give, like, people that they feel is dope under them or, like, you know, like, that ain't really got nothing going on or, like, making no sense. It was just about, Stand in my lane and not even want to be accepted. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need um, people to accept me. I want my fans and, you know, like, the importance of why I'm doing it to accept me. Not like, you know, just the industry and be caught up in all that bullshit. <laughs>